In the latest move seen as an attempt to paralyze the union's operations, the Council of Governors has told county governments to stop remitting nurses' monthly contributions. Through a circular dated June 17, the COG wants the contributions withheld until the union's membership is verified. The council, saying nurses who are not members of the union, had joined the strike, yet the disputed CBA does not involve non-unionizable nurses or workers who belong to other unions. The union's leadership has, however, said the directive is an empty threat that will not intimidate it into calling off the strike. Subscription to a trade union under Section 48 of the Labor Relations Act is the one that confirms membership to the union. What it's trying to do is to infringe on the rights of the nurses, the freedom for association, as enshrined in Article 36 of the Constitution and Article 41 of the right to form and participate in activities and programs of the trade union. The union has at least 26,000 members, out of which 16,000 remit monthly contributions amounting to an estimated 5 million shillings a month. Officials could now find themselves without money to pay rent and stuff as well as for funding other activities. We will continue to run the union using alternative method. Let Nanok know that even if he freezes the contribution, the nurses of this country will make contribution direct to the union to sustain this cause. The Secretary General maintains the strike is on and that over 10,000 nurses will participate in a protest demo planned for Monday in Nairobi. He also refuted claims that they have withdrawn from CBA negotiations. Patrick, Gunza Citizen, Weekend.